What's going on PK Legends? It's Nintendo Gamer Legend here and welcome everybody back to another video. And in this video, I have a uh just taking a little break from my let's play videos I've been making. Uh the the next one is going to be dropping real soon after this uh, another two unboxings. I actually have another unboxing coming straight after this one. But today I uh am here to uh bring you a review on the Halo 5 Boomco uh, Magnum or the uh, UNSC M6 Blaster made by Mattel. So basically the story about how I got this is uh, I went to Toys R Us, I had a gift card, a little bit of more money on it. I got an Amiibo which is going to be revealed in the next video and of course uh, this pistol. Now they do have a blue variant but it only comes with a dual pack with the uh, plasma pistol. They also had a full size needler and an SMG, which was really cool, but this is the only one I could afford. Plus, that's really, uh, I really am not fond of the uh, SMG uh, and the carbine. The carbine sucks. I, ha I hated the, how it's done. But as you can see on the back, it's a uh, slide action, just like every other Nerf gun. And but Except this is Boomco. Now, as you can see right here, you got the plasma pistol. It comes with, uh... see, it says uh, colors. It says right here, um... Each sold separately, subjective, subject to availability, colors, and decorations may vary. Meaning that the blue one comes with the plasma pistol and also comes with the, uh, the full-size needler, which is the really, really cool one I want to get next, but for Christmas. But, uh, why don't I go ahead and, uh, jump to the unboxing table, and I am actually going to, uh, be unboxing this thing. So right off the bat, this gun feels insanely badass to hold. It's got everything you have in a Magnum, it's got the pump action. Now if you don't have a dart in the chamber, you can't shoot. And uh, it takes these darts and they look really good as you can see right there. They look really nice. They're not like nerf darts and they stick to paper and that's really cool. I mean I don't really care about the darts anyway because I don't really use them. But if I'm in a Nerf War, you can use these. These are Boomco's. So if you shoot it right there, boom, it shoots pretty far. I'm going to do a range chest in a couple of minutes and later in the video. But uh, looks really nice. It looks like the Magnum just came out of Halo. The only problem is the coloring. Yes, I know it's a kid's toy. But I'm probably just going to take some spray paint. Maybe if I'm going to do like a movie or something which is gonna, probably going to come in the future. I'm going to just take, make it look like the Magnum spray paint. It's an easy spray paint. You might have to do a few things. It's got the nice Halo logo on it, which is might you have to sand it off and stuff. But there's also some darts that can go here. There's a dart that can go in the chamber, and obviously there's two darts that can go here. I prefer you don't put them here because they look really stupid, if I'm going to be completely honest. Right here, right here. It comes with five darts. And the one over there. And uh, it's just very comfortable to hold. It really feels very well made. It's not cheap. This was 13 14 15 bucks. I would say go to Walmart and get one of these. The Toys R Us is my only option because it's the only one near me that sells these things. But this thing is awesome. So I recommend you guys go pick one up if you're a huge Halo fan like me. And even if you're trying to get a cool Nerf gun, I definitely prefer this over the Nerf guns because, you know, it jumps straight out of a video game. So why don't we jump to the range chest. Hey look, all you viewers, my ugly face. All right, so uh, now I'm gonna do a range test 
I never read the back because I really don't read things. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot it and see how far it goes. I say it goes pretty far. I'm going to try that again to see if I can get it higher. I'll see if we aim up at the die. Yeah, it automatically, it automatically goes the same exact uh, range. But really good. It's got really good range. And it's really good. It'll be really powerful if you like go around someone's hand and just shoot them right against the corner. But overall, really awesome built gun. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and unboxing. For my overall view score, I'm going to have to give it an 8.5 out of 10. It does have the difficulties with the pump back. You know, this little, I have no idea what that is. But, you know, it's just, this really kind of looks ugly. You know, the paint isn't really, looks like it jumped out of the game. But, of course, it's a kid's toy. And, obviously, Halo's a teen-rated game or M-rated game. Um, but, there's no scope. But, ultimately, it looks like a bad-ass fucking gun. It looks like a Halo gun. It's got the nice shape. It looks really awesome. And I recommend you guys go out and buy one if you guys are looking for a really kick-ass weapon. So I'll see you all in the next video. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Check out for some of my other videos and of course the next Amiibo unboxing coming very soon. I'll see you all next time. I'm Nintendo Gamer Legend signing out. Hello everyone. What's going on, PK? So right off the bat, hey, look there! It's my ugly face. All right. So right now I'm gonna do a range test. So I don't know. I didn't really read the back. Oh, whoopsies. Uh, that's a that's a blooper. That's a that's a blooper.